It's the end of the semester and we have to create our course effectiveness reports. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use that template that I've shared with you prior so that it automatically does your calculations for you. So here is the SIR template and there's only really three fields that you have to fill in. So step one, this field right here, and then here, step two and step three. Everything else will then be calculated automatically. So let me enter some grades. Uh, obviously, these are not real grades. And automatically, do you see that here? It recognizes by the title test one course learning objective one. So it fills out test one course learning objective one. And then same thing, test one course learning objective three. It fills it out in here and then test two, course learning objective two. So it fills it out automatically. Let's now also do the final. The final we do by paper. Um, so here either, you know, you can do step three before step two, that's fine. I've entered some grades. I'm leaving um, the, the name open. And then uh, here for CLO three, they're all worth 20 points. So fill out what those course learning objectives are worth. And then this row, do you see this is an empty row? This is because the student actually did not show up. Um, I do the total here because uh, I don't want to calculate the total myself. Um, and then I can easily enter the grades in my grade book that way. And you probably noticed it calculated this automatically. And then it also calculated here automatically. So there, I think uh, that would um, help a lot. Uh, let me now, for those of you who want, in the next slide, um, explain how the formulas work, just in case if something isn't working, then you can still make edits. So in this part, I'm explaining what's important for you. So here, test one, course learning objective one. Um, there's a space between test and one, and then there's a space between one and course learning objective, but then there's no space with course learning objective one. So that's kind of important um, to, to name these titles that way. Um, and then as you can see here, I'll go in cell C9, look at the formula right here. Uh, it matches the test. Yeah, test one, course learning objective three. So it goes to look in this range here, in all of this range, because you might have more students than the six students that I used here. So it uses um, the, the match uh, from that column, test one, course learning objective three, to fill out the count here for each range of 85 to 100 or 70 to 85 and so on. So yeah, that's that's how these work. And then when um, there is no test, so there's no match, then there normally is an error. And I wanted the field then to remain empty. So if error, just type an empty field. Um, then here, these are the averages. Again, if there's an error, then I want that average to remain empty. And then the average of all of these as well. I hope that helps if you need to make any um, changes to the formula because maybe you have listed your um, tests differently. So yeah, so these, these, these formulas here, go look at that title here to see which tests count in that range. So if you have different titles here, then make sure that you change the formulas or uh, make sure that your formulas are test one with spaces in the right places and no space between course learning objective and the number. So this right here is one word. I guess that's the biggest um, uh, uh, thing you need to be uh, paying attention to. All right, you guys, I hope that helps. Thank you.